Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 16th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. So in this tutorial we're going to be explaining some keywords that we use to describe variable expressions. So this is a variable expression right here and the first word that we need to know is we need to know what's a variable. Well we have two variables in this expression and those are x and y. And so what makes x and y variables? Well what makes x and y variables is that they can take on different values or they can basically change or vary their value. So if they vary their value, which is why we call them variables. And depending on what value we choose for our x and y, for instance we could choose x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, and we would evaluate this and we get some sort of answer and that would equal one thing, but then we could say, okay, well, these can change value. We could say that x is 25 and y is equal to a million, and this would have a completely different answer, and so that's why the expression varies. It is a variable expression. It varies its value depending on what our variables are. So what is a term? A term is basically everything in our variable expression that is separated by the minus or plus sign. So for example, I'll just go ahead and put some boxes around our terms here so that you can see that more clearly. So in this case we have four different terms. And of our four different terms, we have two different types of terms. We have variable terms and we have constant terms. Actually we just have one, so we'll just put constant term there. And so our variable terms are basically the terms that have a variable in them. So we've got one here, there's an x, there's a y, there's an x and a y. So this guy doesn't have one, so he's not a variable term. So basically a term that has a variable attached to it is a variable term. So for our example up above, 2x squared minus 4y squared and 3xy are all variable terms. So it's important to put this negative sign also here. Notice how I included the negative sign in our term. That guy is part of our term. And uh, so if you have a negative term or a subtraction of a term, you want to make sure that you include that negative sign as part of your term. It's really important to know that the negative sign gets attached to your term if you have one. So anyway, those are our three variable terms because they include variables. So basically our constant term is going to be a term that basically isn't attached to any variables. So in our case we have one constant term and that's the number negative nine. So the last thing I wanted to talk about in this video was what is what is a coefficient? Well coefficients are basically the numbers that are attached to the variable terms. So we've got a coefficient of 2 here. We have a coefficient of negative 4 here and a coefficient of 3 here. So the numbers that are attached to our variable terms are called the coefficients. So anyway, I think that's probably enough for one video. Um, I'll go ahead and probably explain some more about this stuff in the next video. I'll probably I'll talk about like terms, I think, is probably the next thing up. So stay tuned for a discussion on that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a great day, as always. And uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.